downtown life for one night, you feel me? And yeah, so between downtown and fucking spending like 14 years on the Jane and shit, like, for. Yeah. And even though during that time, like, okay, let's say like you're transitioning, you're going from like the West End coming down to like a little bit downtown to park there, what's, what's bumping in your headphones and shit when you're on the. Okay, yo, to be honest, yo, back in the day, fuck. I used to bump a lot of Pac, a mm. lot of DMX, a lot of fucking. Who else? I used to bump a lot of Cam, like I said, 50 Cent. Probably hear a little bit of 50 in my flow when I'm spitting. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I used to, like, yo, to be honest, I used to bump a lot of Sam G, too. Sam G. Yeah. Shout out Sam yo, G. Sam, I used to bump a lot yo, of yo, Sam yo, G. Yo, 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 face shots different than a. a, a Scar a, a, on the yo, team. Yo, 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 yo. To be honest, bro, like, yo. <laughs> I had a lot of Sam G in my headphones telling me to do some fuckery, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so hood, so was it, is it hood standards? Was it hood standards? Is it hood, hood standards? standards? Yeah. Hey, crazy baby, this is what the hood made. Yo, you know bro, me? Sam G, he's, he's, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah free the boy. No, with my cream doesn't make up. I do your boy dirt for a green piece of paper. My artwork is when you shake off. I tear the place up. Free, free him, yes. Okay. The track was, yo, the music is, yo, the man was definitely ahead of his time with his music. For sure. Personally, I don't know him, personally. Yeah. But, but you're, the, music, the music, yo, I don't know him personally <laughs> myself either, but the music is what I connected with. Like, yo, like I said, yeah. just this way he's talking, like, yo, a face shot's different than a fucking scar, scar on, on the cheek, cheek bro. Me anywhere yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Like yo, I'm patting the man down when they work. Yo, what are you doing? Yo, like the ad libs, everything. Yo, listen to me. <laughs> what are you yeah. doing? <laughs> That's the additives, like yo. What are you doing? Are you doing? So yeah. even like besides like um besides Sam G, what other like Toronto? Cause I I never really asked this. I always ask people, where are you listening to your headphones? And I'm expecting always an American answer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of fucked up. Cause like I listen to like everything that's good. Like to be honest, like I don't really like I don't really have beef with neighborhoods like i have niggas from different neighborhoods and you feel me they have beef with each other but i don't really have black beef mm. you feel me so like i listen to people from like everywhere if you're just sure. popping like i bump it i don't give a fuck if you're from fucking the slums where niggas are getting face shots or you're in the beach in brampton where niggas are jumping in pools like i don't care if your shit's booming i'm gonna listen to it you feel me so like to be honest i listen anything that was popping back in the day i listened to it if it was some bars you feel me like i was bumping it to yeah. be honest you feel me and like I always wonder because we're so we're on a we're different ages now you know between me and this cat like we're there's a generation gap right so I always wonder what holds on in the high schools and shit in in your generation you know what I'm saying <laughs> what's what's the struggle like over there in like a, in the high schools like fuck high school for the young niggas is rough right now oh well, right now <laughs> some people don't even make it past the first day you know if you see on the first day. So I'll be watching the news, people are getting stabbed, all types of shit. You know what I'm yep. saying? Like, fuck, like school is crazy. And when when I was going to high school, it was crazy. Mm. You got niggas that were on the ball team that were bringing their gun with them to ball games and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was regular, like, where yeah, I was yeah. in the school. Like, <coughs> like, shooters on the court and off the court. You feel me? Like, it's crazy. Like, <coughs> the city, like, people in the States, they hear from Toronto. They don't really know what's going on up here. They're just getting a taste of They're it now. Just They're just figuring out. Just finding out the last couple of years what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like, shit's been popping. It's over not there. a joke. Yeah, it's not a joke over here. You guys come <coughs> over here and you guys will not go back with your stuff. You feel me? So like, it's you're, you're telling here. me cats in high school. Like I know there's always been even back in our times, men will get robbed in school and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But you're telling me like, do we have high schools in? Do we have fucking metal detectors in the high schools over here too? <coughs> I don't know. Bro. I don't that, think so. I not yet. There, I don't think so. Not yet. We we're, not, we're, not, yet? we're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> we're not oh, there yet. Have, like off duty white and working in the yeah. school, right? But yeah, they're trying oh. to shut that down. Actually, <laughs> they're shutting that. They're saying that it's an intimidation to the to the black to the black youths <laughs> them in particular, especially like because it started where um up in Finch where the Jordan Masters got mm. shot, right? In the school. Yeah, they started it there, and then it's like after the ten years of it being there, it's like nothing of nothing's come of it but charges yeah. and intimidation. So they people shut it down. The yeah, they don't trust shit, them, right? You don't want to even some kids who probably don't even go to school. Like, fuck yeah, because they like, go, oh, I go to school. This cop's gonna bother me, yeah. even if I'm not doing anything. This cop's just gonna be on me. He's yeah. just on us. We're not doing nothing. We're just at school. We can't even go to school. So like, okay, well, so with the combination of like the way that schools are cr crazy, especially in, in those times and the way it is now, you know the different things that are going on in the like 
you know, in the hood. Mm-hmm. What influenced you to just start rapping, dog? Yo, to be honest, like, from a kid, I was like that kid in grade four trying to, like, fit his fucking CD player in his fucking jacket, mm. burning CDs on my mom's fucking desktop computer yeah. and shit. You feel me? Like, <clears throat> I always loved music, but, like, like, actually rapping... Probably like grade nine, like I started spitting, recording me and my niggas on a, on the laptop or some shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then yeah, from there, like I always felt like I always had a little bit of an edge lyrically, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my niggas told me to do it. It just you just started like <laughs> you, you know? just got the got the bug. Yeah. Right? So um, Melly, not to cut you out. Do you do you rap? No, yes. Yeah, like, Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. See, this is the next connection you're bringing for us. Is this uh Yeah, you might see Billy pop out just now. It shit's right, you know what I'm saying? With the times, right? Time is. out there just now. All sure. right. Well, it's a good thing because it's like the way that this show's been building. It's like we get to meet the, the one person we're interviewing and new people yeah, at the same time. Yeah. yeah. First, you, know? you know what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah. before I get into some other questions, I want to give a sh- couple of shout-outs to my sponsors and yeah, stuff like that. Me. So, shout-out to the Youngsterdam Lounge over here at uh, 529 Young Street. Yep. Um, open every day, Monday to Sunday, 11 to 9 p.m. So if you want to get your, um, your eat on, if you want to book some sporting events, book some like, you know, music events, anything like that, you know, holler at them, hit them up on Instagram at youngsterdam underscore lounge, or the phone number is going to be in the description because shit, I don't remember that shit right now. I'm <laughs> high as fuck. Um, also, I want to big up the people over at Can of Chocolatiers. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Fine chocolates. We got a box of the of, of four chocolates in here right now. Four twenty edibles. Four twenty approved. You know what I mean, hit them up at uh, the can of chocolatiers at gmail dot com, or hit their Instagram the can of chocolatiers. We got the sick catalog here, full of mad selection of fucking four twenty edibles right here, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to give you the rundown later. Yeah, yeah, they got Oreo, all type of fucking shit in this motherfucker. Pre- I'm pretty sure there's something in there for your sweet tooth. Trust me. And your medicated one too. So let's let's get back into our interview here with uh, with the crook. So, uh, what influences you to write bars instead of getting into the mumble shit? Uh, fuck, I don't really know how to do that mumble shit, to be honest. No, because a lot of cats of your age are in <coughs> the straight mumble rap. <coughs> yeah. So what made you take a different approach, dog? I just want to rap. I just want people to understand what the fuck I'm saying because I actually got something to say. Mm. It's a message. I'm yeah. not trying to fucking disturb what I gotta say with all these fucking noises. I want you to hear what I gotta say because you want really your message shit, to get right? across. Everything that I spit about is what I live like, you know. So like sometimes people will say, "Oh, where's the music, yo, fam?" Like it's, it's authentic, can't be forced. Everything's organic. You feel me? Like when I'm spitting shit to you, like I'm talking about some shit that the man in my living. You feel me? I'm saying I'm talking about the shit that the man in my seeing in the hood, like. The reality of what's going on in the type of lifestyle, in the <coughs> lifestyle, and the culture of the music that these people want to hear, right? Yeah, so I don't want to like distort it with mumbling. I know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, want to get your point across yeah, clear. Yeah, statement. So clear. Yeah, you want everybody straight. to know. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Like that. Yeah. That's so even like when we were talking in the last interview, yeah, there, <coughs> we we're talking about with six wars and stuff, right? Six wars. And when you first came home and you start first started hearing hearing the stuff right yeah i heard about it when i was in jail niggas are calling me in jail they're like yo this nigga yo this guy made a fucking whole video about you fam just saying you're, you're the next one up and i'm like that's crazy because i'm fucking still fighting cases right now so i don't know how the fuck niggas are saying i'm the next <laughs> one up i could be the next one down you know? <laughs> so, yeah, so by that fam, my fucking shit went right you know my mm. lord true fucking go ham for me you know got me a good sick deal bomb hit the roads you know what i'm saying and fucking fuck and like, it's them now. I, I told niggas when I was inside, I'm like, yo, when I touch road, my nigga, this rap shit, I'm about to fucking, I'm about to start doing this shit, for me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the buzz was creating, right? Yeah. And I know even, like, for, for even myself, I've been done, done my rap shit for years and stuff like that, and I had to deal with fucking going inside and being a rapper who, I'm putting out shit, and then boom, now I'm, shit stopped up. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Tell me about the experience inside, like knowing that you got a lot of shit that you can fucking come you out and do. Fucking retarded, <coughs> cause I'm bumping into niggas in jail, and they're like, "Yo, fam, you're just going wild out there, fam." Nah, 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 nah. I'm like, "Yo, what you talking about like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's crazy, like, cause especially when people know that you have the talent and they fuck with your music, they kind of get cheesed, cause they're like, "Yo, what the fuck you dealing with?" Like, 
Yeah, we're, man, we'll be like, yo, what are you doing it, bro? here, bro? Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you, you could do this shit. Look who's doing this shit, fam. Come on, you could do this shit, man. Exactly, right yeah. exactly. So, yo, that track, True Story, fire. Straight. That's yeah. like that's probably my favorite track from you, straight up. I won't even lie. Yeah. It's fire. I like it. Like, Trust me, and plus when From man's top to like, bottom, mm. I like it. Trust you know me, and when man's are watching TV on the range and they're seeing music videos that bear BTs going in, yeah. they're like, yo, dog. <laughs> yo, you know you're sicker than these motherfuckers oh, that are watching sure. right now, hey, yo, like, yo, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's fucked up, because I remember actually being in jail, and we got, like, yo, the South is fucked, like, they'll give you channels and they'll take them away, you know? Mm. But we had much music for, like, a week, and I remember seeing fucking Shaw Hustle's video up on there. I forgot what video it was, but I remember seeing his video up on there, and I'm like, yo, that's proper, you feel what I'm saying? Because, like... Shaw Hustle used to be in the same studio I used to be in. Like, I know okay. him like, as a street rapper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so that really just showed me I'm seeing people, like, I'm just seeing people on, like, really doing something, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, fuck, like, the spotlight's on our city. Mm. You'll be fool not to take advantage of it. You'll be a fool, like. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you have the talent and you have. For sure. You know? And when you touch down, like, how do you make the transition into, like, okay, I'm, I'm home? Fuck, to be honest, I hit the ground running, but they got it. I had a waste no time. Mm. <laughs> Straight to the school. To stoop. be honest, because, like, what? October, November, December, January. We'll be in February. Mm. I've been on, like, five months. Mm. Fuck. They took everything from me. I didn't have shit when I came out. <coughs> no, it's just a rebuilding process, dog. Yeah. Trust me, dog. No, no, no. <laughs> I, we, no, you, you look like you're good now. You know what I'm saying? You see? Yeah, you see? Yeah, we all here for me, you know? No, no, for real. Okay, but, okay. With Toronto artists in the scene, there's a lot of different challenges that people have, like shows, different things. What are the challenges that you find? <coughs> to be honest, just <coughs> getting like sound engineers and producers that are gonna match like my sound and like like to be honest, I got a new sound engineer recently he's still he's on a major music. His name's fucking LG. Mm, See him? Okay. I follow them. His uh, Instagram's mixed by our LG mixed it fucking at LG mixed it yo that's my guy still like he actually puts in work for me and like he finds my sound and I've been fucking with him but like before that it was just really like <clears throat> finding a studio to call home yeah to be honest with you like I've been to other studios and like some of these guys try to act like they're fucking like you know so like I don't really like the vibe of people that try to act like they're like they're, they're better like, or they're higher than you yeah and shit, you feel what I'm saying? especially when you're coming out of the streets yeah as a street rapper <clears throat> There's so many niggas trying to do this shit, right? So, like, you really have to fucking make your shit, like, sound, yeah. You yeah, really you can't to, you sound like everybody else. You can't sound like everybody else, and you have to make your shit stand out, but it still has to be what they want. You see that?